turning ocean water into drinkable water. That's been the plan here in Carlsbad for the past 10 years. But how soon? Vice President of Poseidon Enterprises, Scott Maloney, tells Carlsbad Patch construction of the desalination plant could begin as early as April. In mid-December, Poseidon Enterprises won an important legal battle when a state appellate court ruled in their favor saying that Poseidon does not have to conduct any further environmental studies before building the long-debated desalination plant in Carlsbad. At this pilot plant, they've been testing how to desalinate water for a number of years. Back in the 1980s, the power plant used to burn oil. It no longer does. It burns natural gas. So what we will do is we will tear down those vacated oil storage tanks and replace it with a state-of-the-art seawater desalination plant. Poseidon expects to be operational by the year 2013 and will be able to provide water to 300,000 people in northern San Diego County. It's a multi-stage filtration process with the primary technology being reverse osmosis. Reverse osmosis is simply the process of forcing seawater through a membrane that has holes 300 times smaller than the diameter of a human hair. The only molecule that can fit through is a water molecule. It takes two gallons of seawater to produce one gallon of drinking water. The salt taken out of the first gallon is then put back into the second, doubling that gallon's salinity before it's finally put back into the ocean. Gabriel Solmer is part of the environmental group San Diego Coast Keepers. She says the desalination plant would be dangerous to the Agua Hedionda Lagoon near the Encina power plant. Desalination is certainly dangerous to the fish and the creatures in the lagoons here because the desalination process takes marine life that are in the water, sucks that into the plant to create the drinking water. But Scott Maloney disagrees, saying Poseidon has gone through a rigorous environmental review process. Every single local, state, and federal regulatory and permitting agency that's been asked to review this project has approved it because we have proven that the project can be built and operated without any significant impact to the marine environment. The power plant for the last 50 years has used seawater as part of the cooling process for generating electricity. We will reuse the power plant's cooling water system not only as for source water, but also to dilute the desal plant's discharge so that by the time the water gets back out to the ocean, the salinity is not harmful for the local marine life. Solmer admits that the San Diego Coast Keepers cannot stop construction on the plant now, but she sees positive environmental protections coming in the rules established by the San Diego Regional Water Quality Control Board. The desalination plant has been ordered to dilute its brine discharge. And what that means is that instead of just taking the water that it needs for to desalt and to desalinate the water, it's actually going to take 300 million gallons and use 250 gallons to discharge back to the ocean and that will dilute the brine back to a normal concentration. And so this is the mixing pond and when we're in operation, our byproduct, which is uh, seawater with twice the salt content, will come down here, co-mingled with the discharge from the power plant into what is called the mixing pond, and then go out the jetty a couple hundred feet into the surf zone, at which point the combined salinity of the power plant and the desal plant's discharge will be ambient salt level, which is 33 parts per thousand. The project will be 100% privately financed. There'll be no public subsidies. It's about $700 million to build the plant for the last 30 years and produce about 10% of San Diego County's water supply. For Carlsbad Patch, I'm Judy Chauncey.